If I were to stand here on this broadcast and tell you that a foreign power had bombed a school bus full of American children, there would be no bigger story. We would be in a state of panic, horror, and mourning, and almost certainly immediate war. In fact, the thought experiment doesn't even work, because if that had happened, you wouldn't need me to tell you about it at 8.45. You'd know minutes after it happened. Well, today, a foreign power did bomb a school bus full of children. Only it was Yemeni children, and the Saudi-led coalition that did that bombing is backed by us, by the United States. The images you're about to see are extremely disturbing, and it's because a school bus bombed in a crowded market was left utterly destroyed, resulting in the deaths of at least 50 people, and most of them are children, and injuries scores more. According to the authorities in the Houthi-governed Sana'a region, those are the rebels who are fighting that war in Yemen, the Red Cross says its medical team has received the bodies of 29 kids, all under 15 years old, and is treating dozens more injured children and adults. This attack is part of a U.S.-backed, Saudi-led war in Yemen, and it began during the Obama administration. It has intensified under the Trump administration. It has prompted what NGOs call the biggest humanitarian crisis in the world, and I quote here, with indiscriminate and disproportionate attacks on civilians, denial of access to humanitarian aid, and the use of starvation as a weapon of war. Now, the horror of this specific attack prompted a howl of outrage from Democratic Senator Chris Murphy. He wrote, U.S. bombs, U.S. targeting, U.S. mid-air support, and we just bombed a school bus. The Saudi UAE U.S. bombing campaign is getting more rec reckless, killing more civilians, and strengthening terrorists inside Yemen. We need to end this now. He's right. Our government, our public dollars are paying to kill Yemeni children, and it's our government and our representatives that can stop it.